Hey everyone, welcome back to the Oxygen channel and another tutorial video. My name is Jonathan and today what I'm going to do is show you how to style the built-in Google Maps element in Oxygen really easily without any custom code. So on your screen is the standard Google Maps element that I'm sure you've seen both on your own site and across the web. And this one looks totally fine, but what we're going to do is a couple different things. So I'm going to show you how to build a grayscale map that when you hover over it, it restores the full color version like that. And then we can also create a map that has a nice gradient effect like this that can match the branding of your site. This map is still fully functional as you can see. I can still hover over all the elements and go get the directions and view the larger map if I want to. I can still move the map around. So as you can see, of course, like I said, it's totally functional and it has a cool gradient effect over it. This particular tutorial is thanks to Mike from Supa Design, and you can find a link to his website in the description below. What I'm gonna do now is move over into my Oxygen install and we're gonna go ahead and set up all these maps from the ground up. So what I've done so far is open the structure pane on the right hand side so you can see the content I'm adding to the page. I have a section here that's gonna contain my Google Maps element and you can find that either under the helpers tab down here at the bottom or of course you can search at the top for Google Maps and it filters that out for you. I'm gonna set the height of this map to like 500 pixels and then I'm gonna to go to advanced size and spacing and click on the little pixel icon here for width, change that to a percentage and I'm gonna set that to 100% width. Moving back to the primary tab, this is where you can enter the address and like you saw in the earlier example, what you can do is actually put the name of the business or the point of interest in front of the full address and it will populate in the Google My Business listing for that particular point of interest, which looks really nice because of course it shows their reviews and the directions to that location like I showed you before. So in my example before I just used Grand Central Terminal and in this case because this location is so popular you don't actually have to put in the full uh, street address and zip code and all that, but for smaller businesses or something that might be local to your area, you would put the full name of the business, comma, full street address, and then it will populate in just like you see here on the screen. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and duplicate this section again because we're gonna use that map again, but I'm gonna start working with this first one here. So go ahead and select the Google Maps element, and we're gonna add the grayscale effect to this. So you can do that by going to Advanced, Effects, go to Filter, and under the filter dropdown, you'll see there's an option here that says grayscale. Now the filter amount is just a little slider, so you can move this up and down to your heart's content. In the example earlier, I had it at 100%, and then when I hovered over it, it restored the color version of that. So that's really easy to achieve. What we need to do is click on this button here that says state, and change the state to the hover option. We're still in our filter tab here, so go to filter again, choose grayscale, and then you can turn the filter amount down to 0%. Of course, I'm still in my hover state at the moment, so I'm gonna change this back to original. And then when I hover over it, you can see that it changes back to the full color. Although it's not a smooth transition, it's sort of abrupt in how it goes from grayscale back to full color, but we can fix that easily. Go to the primary tab, go to advanced again, click effects, transition, and then this transition duration, I'm gonna to change to 0.3 seconds. And the timing function will use ease in out like that. And now if we hover over the map, you can see that the color transition is a lot more smooth and you could even increase the time if you wanted to, to kind of see the effect a little bit more clearly. But I think the 0.3 seconds actually looks pretty good and usable. Moving down into the map below here, we're gonna set up the gradient effect. So this one is gonna take a little bit of setup and I'm gonna open the structure pane a little bit more so you can see here. The first thing I'm gonna do is click on the Google Maps element in my structure pane and choose this little hamburger option here and click wrap with div. You can see it distorts the dimensions a little bit, but we can easily fix that by choosing the width of this div, changing that to a percentage and setting this to 100% width. While we still have this div selected, I'm gonna to go to Advanced, Layout, and then scroll down a little bit until you see the position, and we're gonna change this to Relative. You don't need to make any further changes to this particular div at the moment. Go ahead and select the Google Maps element in your right-hand structure pane over here, and then we're gonna to go to Add, Go back to the basics tab and we're gonna pop in another div here. You don't need to worry about setting the width of this div. We're gonna actually go back to the advanced tab and choose layout and set the positioning this way. This time we're gonna change this position to absolute and then we're gonna set all four sides to one pixel like that. And now this div stretches to the bounds of its container, which is the div on top of the Google Maps element. So now what we're gonna do is select this bottommost div and we're gonna add a background color to this. So go to the Advanced tab, 
choose background. And then for the background color, I'm just gonna use this bright blue from our global color set. And if you click that, of course, now it completely covers up the map, which of course you don't actually want it to look like that. So what we can do is go back to the advanced tab, choose effects, go to opacity, change this mix blend mode to overlay, and then you can change the opacity slider here to whatever looks good for your particular example. So I'll probably do something like 50% opacity, 0.5. I think that looks pretty good. It's got a nice blue hue to it. And my thought here is that you would basically just wanna make this match kind of the styling of your website so that it blends into your branding a bit more. Now we can take this even further by changing the mix blend mode here to color, which is down at the bottom. And then you can see that the color effect is a bit more profound and it looks more like the global blue. So it blends in a bit better when you change the blend mode to color and you can see the different effects as you change the opacity slider. So that's basically none of the color blending in and that's 100% of the color in the blend mode. So that basically makes it your blue. What I'm gonna do from here is just change this to like 50% and then we're gonna actually add in the gradient here. So you could of course leave the map looking like this if you want to, but in our example earlier we had two colors creating a gradient effect. So I'm gonna to go to the advanced tab. Under the background option, we're gonna delete this background color and then scroll down to this gradient option. I'm gonna add in two colors here. So I'll choose my global option, this light blue, and then I'm gonna choose this navy blue. And perhaps let's change this to something like a green so it stands out a bit. And you can already see the green is kind of appearing down here and the blue is appearing up here. What you could do is change the angle to something like 120 degrees, and now you can see that the blue is on the left side and the green is kind of on the right side. You can just play with this though. 360 puts the green on the top, and then of course there's quite a few other options if you change it to a radial gradient. You can set the positioning with all these options right here, but let's go ahead and just leave this linear at the moment, and I'll change the angle back to like 120 degrees. And let's set this green to something a bit brighter so you can kind of see the effect a bit more. And then just to kind of play with this, let's change this to something other than blue, maybe like a purple. So of course you probably wouldn't want a neon purple and a neon green like this, but the point of me demonstrating it in this capacity is just to show you how you can add this gradient effect. And if you want this gradient to be a bit more profound, all you need to do is go to the advanced tab, go back to the effects, under opacity, you can change the opacity here back up to like 100%, and you can see the purple and the green that we added is much more apparent. And then of course, if you wanted to turn it back down to 50, like we had it, or you could restore the full color version. But in this case, let's just set the opacity to one like that. So basically hundred percent of this blend mode is showing through. Now, one thing that you'll notice is this map is no longer clickable. So I can't click on this view larger map or the directions button here like I can on the other maps because of the way we had to configure this div to kind of stretch over the top of the map. So we can really easily fix that. Just make sure you have this bottommost div selected, go to the advanced tab, choose custom CSS, and then in here we just need to type pointer hyphen events and then colon none like that. Click on apply and collapse, scroll back down. So now you can see that the view larger map does work just fine. This overlay is a little bit wonky in the back end, but if I save this and go take a look on the front end, our grayscale map works perfectly fine with the color effect and our map here doesn't have that little flash of full color but you can see that the directions button works, the larger map button works, and the reviews all work here with our purple and green neon gradient. So there's an interesting way to style your Google Maps in Oxygen really easily without any custom code. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a future video.